So now we're going to take a look at the circuit we're going to be covering in uh, a few shorts. But in any case, you can see the output's uh, high, red LED is lit, output is low, blue LED is lit right there. Uh, not very bright because we're not using uh, very much uh, voltage. That's the main takeaway here. So if you're powering your circuits with a lithium ion uh, battery, just a single cell, uh, when it gets uh, to a low voltage, it's going to be about 3 volts. That's uh, pretty much a discharge. Oops, didn't mean to go to 5. But in any case, it uh, didn't damage anything. So we go to 4. 4.2 that's like fully charged so now you can see more current uh, through the red LED but that's because we have more voltage so the blue LED will light up even at low uh, voltages with the 555 output but uh, the red LED since we're gonna power it from the positive supply we want it to light up when the output's high when we only have three volts you lose some voltage uh, from the 555 so instead we got a transistor switching it directly from the positive supply so now we got the schematic that I drew, and we're kind of far away because I'm going to make this into a short. Hopefully I got that all into frame. But the main takeaway is, uh, we're only going to be working with about uh, 3 volts if we have a battery that is discharged right there. So the output does not power a red LED, in this case, uh, very well at uh, 3 volts. And uh, so better to send that signal to a transistor that turns that transistor on. Of course, we could light a red LED, uh, you know, sinking uh, current like we are with the blue one. Um, but uh, here, we're just overcoming that limitations of a high output with the transistor. Of course, the circuit we're looking at, again, is uh, when there's enough light, the output's high. When we get it dark, then that sets the output low. So, pin 2 is always trying to keep the output high. But uh, when you get a low enough voltage to the reset pin, uh, pin number 4 right there, that overpowers pin 2. So now we're going to focus on power and we're zooming back because I'm going to make this into a short. But in any case, um, you always have to power the circuit, of course. You need to power the integrated circuit, pin 8 positive supply, pin 1 to the negative uh, supply. Also, uh, that voltage that we're using is also going to be used to uh, switch uh, the red LED right there via the transistor right there. And uh, transistor is going to control uh, the voltage or not. And this circuit, of course, is uh, the output's high unless uh, we get it dark enough. Then it sets the output low. So um, we're not going to dwell on that too much. Here's the actual circuit. So again, we're focusing on power. Pin 8 there is to the positive supply. You can see where we got uh, negative. Um, both of these alligator clips are clipped to that jumper. But yeah, positive comes over here to the red alligator clip coming from the power supply. And then pin number 1 right there. You can see directly to the negative supply. You know, uh, following that path back to the alligator clip. So now, when it comes to the basic function of uh, this circuit here, and I will zoom back for those that are watching uh, the shorts, but uh, any case, uh, we got um, the output is going to be high unless it gets dark enough. We're only working with 3 volts, uh, by the way. And uh, so, to accomplish that, I tied uh, pin 2 to ground right there. That tells the output to stay high. And I just used a jumper, but you could use a resistor. Um, so in any case, the reason why the output goes low when it gets dark enough is because 4 overpowers 2. That's the main thing to understand. But it's important to understand too that pin 2 is what's telling the 555 timer to hold the output high. As you can see there, unless it gets too dark, then uh, pin 4 jumps in. And we're only working 3 volts, so the blue LED is not uh, very bright. And the red LED needs a transistor. Um, to switch but in any case uh, there we go we got pin number two there to the negative supply so now we're zoomed back from the schematic again to uh, kind of help those that are watching the shorts but um, when this 555 timer circuit LDR gets uh, darkness on it it sets the output low otherwise the output is held high as we mentioned before pin 2 is always trying to do that but pin 4 is more powerful that's the uh, main thing to remember. So we have a voltage divider here. When enough light is falling on the light pin or resistor, it holds the voltage up, you know, closer to uh, the supply voltage. And therefore, pin 4 does nothing. When we get it uh, dark enough right there, we get a pretty good connection to ground right there. And that's when pin 4 overpowers pin 2. Uh, low input to 4 uh, sets the output low. We will come over here and look at it on the actual circuit. So there you can see light dependent resistor to a positive supply and then to pin 4. We also have a 1K resistor. So it's relatively low value, again, because we have to get really close to ground to get a low input. But there it is to the negative supply. So again, zooming back for those watching the short. We have the 555 timer. The output is low thanks to pin 2 until we get it dark enough uh, thanks to pin 4, reset pin. 
pin two is the trigger. Now we cannot uh, power an LED probably directly uh, with three volts because the LED drops some voltage, power supply loses uh, some voltage from the, or the output I mean, loses some uh, voltage when the output is high, but not when the output's low, really. So in any case, we just need a high output there going to a transistor, 2N3904 is gonna work. So we can use a resistor there to limit the current. In fact, we have to, but in any case, um, we just need a little bit of base to emitter current to get the transistor to turn on fully right there. So that switches the red LED on. So yeah, we'll zoom over here and we can look at that. You can see the output, I got a little jumper going to the 4.7K to the base of the 2N3904. And it switches on when the output is high and when it's low, it switches the red LED off. 